Hey everyone, so I've been doing a lot of autism videos lately, uh, but I used to talk about other things on my channel too, and so this week I am actually getting ready to go give my first autism presentation of the season. It is today that I'm filming. This is March 27th. This video probably won't be out for a couple weeks. Uh, April is autism month. April 2nd is a big day and I will be out in force doing a lot of public speaking uh, in starting today and through April uh, and sitting on panels and various things uh, all over. Uh, yay! I have got my red instead, bright red gear on and oh my foot, I'm not, uh, my bright red shoes. I am ready to go walk in red and red instead and all of that. Ow! Just hit my ankle on the table. I am so clumsy. Uh, but anyway, um, this week's video, I just wanted to talk about something related to, you know, public speaking and being a presenter because, you know, these videos here, this is one thing. This is actually much less prepared. Uh, when I go deliver a presentation, what people don't realize is uh, there are hours and hours of work that go into that presentation. Uh, there are goals and outcomes uh, that go into that presentation. And even before I start to put anything in the computer or on paper or in a Word document, like there are hours that go into like the brainstorming and figuring that out. And then once I start actually writing my presentation, I'm not winging it. I'm going to spend hours typing up a draft, working with the draft, speaking through the draft a few times, reworking it, and then eventually like I'll put it on note cards. And this is just 30 minutes here, 50 page note cards is 30 minutes and I have them on note cards while I memorize it and I spend hours upon hours upon hours upon hours listening to myself recorded over and over again and then recording myself at least a couple times a day um, and even like up to five times a day sometimes when it's really close to a presentation uh, so it's not like I'm just gonna go up there and do a presentation for, for one hour there are so many, many hours that go into delivering a presentation. And so that's what people really don't, don't understand sometimes, that it's, it's uh, a lot of pre-work that goes into the deliverables. Um, I'm also, you know, for a, big, for a bigger presentation, like I have one that's an hour and 15 minutes long coming up in April, and I'm actually doing that one twice on the 6th. Um, that presentation will have a PowerPoint because it's a really long presentation and so there will be visuals uh, and so you know I will spend hours multiple hours uh, creating that PowerPoint um, although I did buy a really awesome uh, PowerPoint template for I think like 18 or under $20 from a website called SlideCow um, shout out to another neurodivergent uh, business person out there, SlideCow. This is not a plug. He doesn't know I'm plugging them. Um, but SlideCow, he, that guy can do things with PowerPoint that I didn't know PowerPoint can do. I saw him doing a, a go-to webinar a tutorial talking about how to make better PowerPoint presentations. Uh, and then I went to his website and saw the templates that I could download and I had to have one when it was only $18 because it's going to make my presentation look so awesome. And it would have taken me a lot, a lot of hours to do something like that. And I probably still could have done something that good. So that is like my new tip is PowerPoint templates. Um, and so far slide cow seems to be like a really great deal. Um, and note cards, like seriously, this, this, I, I'm working on this and I'm still changing it, but I'm changing it in my head now. This is just kind of like, I keep it in my hand to make sure I'm on track, but I'm not really reading it anymore. And by tonight, I'd say this is like 85% memorized right now. And after I get done with this video, I'm going to go read through this maybe five more times. Okay, I don't have that much time, but I'm going to read through this at least two or three more times and I will have it 95% memorized by the first time I do this today. And then I'm going to have two more of these for April 6th to memorize and the PowerPoint. 
So that's the thing you don't see. So that's that's what I'm up to uh, behind the scenes when I am not doing videos and why I haven't been on social media nearly as much lately. Like I've been scheduled, I've been trying to at least still schedule posts so there's things for people to read uh, and enjoy and the information and the educational stuff is still coming out there. But I, I haven't really been around that much. I haven't been reading as many comments and things because I've just been really pedal to the metal. Ready for April. Rocking and rolling. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out and like peeking a little bit into the behind the scenes of my world as a presenter and a content creator. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. I gotta do that. I gotta go do that. So I'm gonna log off. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Um, if you like this content, I have even more content for Patreon on Patreon. Uh, members can subscribe for only a dollar a month. And I hope to see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that like notification so you don't miss my posts because otherwise you may never see it. <laughs> Bye guys. Talk to you next time.